right, I'm excited to announce our new series, working through the entire 90-man roster for the 49ers. Uh, me and Coach Cruz, and I got to give it up to Josh as well, who are helping me with this series. We went through and ranked 1 through 90. Now, it's not even actually 1 through 90 because the 49ers currently have a roster exemption for their international player, Gutierrez. Um, and the offensive tackle for Mexico. So actually there's 91 players, but we all rank number 91 D Ford. So we don't want to get too much into that and what that is. So we're starting at player 90. So that's correct. This is going to be a 90 video series that we are working very, very diligently behind the lines to get done before the very first um, preseason game. So we're going through this. If you just want to look in 49ers roster countdown, you'll be able to go through these. So we're going to have a lot of videos coming out. And today we are starting at number 90. And the 90th player, and again, doesn't mean, it means they're the least likely to make the roster for sure. Only 53 make it. But we have cornerback Kadar Holman, who's got a really interesting story. Uh, jersey number 24 currently for the 49ers. He's six foot 196, which... That is, he, he's a, he, it's almost identical. The, it, the 49ers have a prototype at corner and it's six foot under 200 pounds. Like that is who they want every single corner to look like. Now you get into the slot guys. Sometimes they're a little bit smaller, um, height wise and weight wise, but he's kind of, you know, pigeonholed as an outside corner with special teams help. He was born in 1994, which makes him 27 years old. Um, he signed his future reserve contract back from February to 49ers. So this is his first offseason with us. This is his fourth season, however, um, in the NFL. He's entering into his fourth season. We're talking about Kadar Holman. Now, um, high school, you can go back. He's from Burlington, New Jersey, the Fighting Falcons. Um, and he had to spend a year after high school because of academic reasons at the Milford Academy to get eligible then he went to Toledo. Uh, stop me if you've heard this before. Not the only player from Toledo, uh, not only on the 49ers roster, but also in this secondary. Um, we just drafted Samuel Womack from Toledo as well. Now, uh, interesting enough, they were actually teammates for two years. They had two years overlapping in 2017 and 2018 at Toledo. Um, and, you know, if we're looking at Holman, he played 40 games. In his time at Toledo, totaling 113 tackles, two interceptions. Um, I thought this was really, really interesting. He was nominated for the Burlesworth Trophy. I, I didn't know what this trophy was. The best player in the nation who started his career as a walk-on. Um, he didn't win the award, but he was one of the nominees. He did eventually earn a scholarship prior to his sophomore season. So this is somebody that has grinded out. Overcoming academics, overcoming, you know, lack of a scholarship and fighting his way for that. He got a scholarship his sophomore year. And in 2018, he led the Mac in pass breakups with 12. Also had 43 tackles and one interception um, that year. Now, if we look at his metrics, what's his athletic profile? Um, ran a 4.3940 yard dash, so speed check. His three cone, 6.81 check, that's incredible. Uh, vertical, he had a 38 inch vert. And, you know, he's never really found his spot. He's bounced around with a couple of teams and a good backup with the potential to develop into a special team starter. That's kind of his role. And if he doesn't start doing something soon, it's quite possible this could be the last year in the NFL, um, sadly enough. Now, if we look at what his NFL journey has been, he was drafted in the sixth round in 2019 to the Packers, pick number 185, and he was a 25-year-old rookie. So he was already a little bit older. Um, you know, he's 27 currently, going to be 28 this year, but he was with the Packers for two years. Then they traded him to Houston in 2021 for a seventh-round pick. Didn't catch on there. Signed on at the Saints practice squad. Then he was on the Giants practice squad. So he was on three separate teams, Texans, Saints, and Giants practice squad all last year. This year, the 49ers brought him in in February. Um, and we'll have to see what that looks like. Now, he's only got one career start. He's played in 18 separate games in the NFL. Now, his career totals, 10 tackles, three pass deflections. Actually, pretty good. Um, whenever he's gotten the chance, three pass deflection it, with only one career start, that's a pretty good ratio. He's just not getting the opportunities in there. Um, we'll have to see what that looks like. Now, 
We're going to do this for every single player. Best case scenario, most likely scenario, and then how does this person or player make the team and or start? So his best case scenario, probably make the practice squad. This is a player that is developmental special teams with upside. You like the athletic profile running a 4-3. But the opportunity for him to make this roster, sorry, I'm laughing. There's 12 current corners on this 90-man roster. The 49ers kept six last year on their initial 53-man roster. I have him at 12 um, out of those 12 corners. Now, it doesn't mean he couldn't surprise. Special teams is going to be the way that he's going to have to get there. So what's the most likely scenario? Doesn't make the 53-man does not get brought back on the practice squad. That's probably most likely one of the ancillary, uh, ancillary leagues, or if injuries happen, gets you know brought on practice squad. Maybe gets called up once or twice this season for a team. You know, perhaps not the 49ers. But if you want to play, okay, how does he make the practice squad and or roster? It's special teams as a gunner or returner. And he's going to have to have injuries happen. And, you know, you never want injuries to happen to anybody for sure. And I don't think that's what he's hoping for either. But if we're going to be realistic, he's fighting upward. There's a reason why we have him number 90. <laughs> he, he, he's he got a ways to go. But the whole point of this series that we do, and we've got 90 more to go, is to bring these prospects to life. And so whenever you're watching preseason or you know OTAs or training camp and you see number 24 out there you understand who that kid is and that he has a story Kader Holman has an insane story that he has overcome so much and easy to root for this guy and that's what we're trying to do is bring texture and context to all these players so that's Kader Holman cornerback um, six foot 196 27 years old and he finishes at number 90 on where we are, and we got a lot more coming. So hopefully you enjoyed this 49ers roster countdown. We got a lot more coming.